Hi there. Now for this question, we're given then that f of x equals 25x squared times e to the 2x minus 16, where x is any real number. And then we're given the equation f of x equals 0 has a root alpha, where alpha equals 0 0.5 to one decimal place. And then starting with our first approximation, x0 equaling 0 0.5, use the iteration formula xn plus 1 equals 4 fifths e to the power minus xn to calculate the values of x1, x2 and x3, giving your answers to three decimal places. And this is worth three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, we'll put down our first approximation, x0 then, equaling 0 0.5. And to get our next approximation, or the subsequent ones, x1, x2, x3, the quickest way to do it is on a calculator just to enter our first approximation, in this case 0 0.5, and then just press equals. It's coming up as a half, obviously the equivalent to 0 0.5. And this is stored as the answer here. Now we just need to enter our iterative equation. We'll start with the fraction, okay, by pressing the fractions button and entering 4 on the top and move the cursor down to enter 5 here by pressing 5. We'll move the cursor now to the right of the fraction and just enter e to the power minus and wherever we've got xn here we just hit the answer key. So to get the exponential function on this calculator I need to press shift and just press that button, enter the minus and then just press answer. So this is really 4 fifths e to the minus a half at the moment, okay? And so when I press equals, I get x1, the next approximation. So if we write that down here, we've got that x1 equals 0 0.4852 and so on. Now to get the next approximation, x2, all I need to do is just press equals again. And you can see what we've got here is 0 0.4924 and so on. And finally for x3, okay, just need to press equals again. And if we do that, 0.4889 and so on. 0 0.4889 and so on. And we had to give our answers to three decimal places. So that means that this one is going to be 0 0.485 to 3dp. And the next one here will be 0 0.492 to 3dp. And finally, this one is going to be 0 0.4 eight nine to three decimal places three dp for short okay